Invaders. 3B Outdoors, brought to you by Spot Hog, makers of serious archery products. Welcome to another season of 3B Outdoors. Have we got an awesome season for you guys. On this first hunt, we're going to Illinois, where you might see this big bruiser cruising a big alfalfa field. We're hunting with Mr. Jerry Jackson of Illinois' Ohio Valley Trophy Outfitters. Then, we're going to Tennessee, opening day of turkey season, where we're going to try to do a little tomfoolery on one of those big old Tennessee gobblers. I'm Freddie Neely, and welcome to 3B Outdoors. It's late December, we got the big dog muzzleloader all stoked up, and she's shooting right on cue. Me and Dustin are headed to Illinois, to Illinois' Ohio Trophy Valley Hunts. We get up there and it's, it's just exactly like we wanted. He's got some really good accommodations, good food. So, me and Dustin's got a four day hunt. So we're hunting, and for the first few days, we, we actually didn't see any bucks. The, the bucks was just not coming out. Good morning. We're coming to you out of a box blind. We're up here in Illinois. It's December the 7th. We're hunting with uh, Illinois, Ohio Valley Trophy Outfitters, Mr. Jerry Jackson. It's kind of rainy. The weather's not real cold. We was hoping for cold weather, but we got the big dog with us today. We're set up here overlooking a big field. There's a wheat field back here behind us. A bedding area over here, and we're hoping to catch one of these big bucks coming out of the wheat field going to the bedding. Got Big D behind the camera. So stick with us, it might be a long day. Breakfast of champions. Little Debbie, strawberry swirl, my favorite. We're trying to make something happen here, me and Big D. We've not seen a deer yet. Man, it really looks good in this area. What you got, it's got fields and woodlots, fields and woodlots. And, um, and it just looks nasty. It just looks like we're one of those big old bucks would, would want to come through. You know, it might be, it might be hard hunting. We just got, we got two and a half days to make something happen. And, uh, but I'm confident, I'm confident with me and Big D in the stand that we can make something happen. You know, I don't ever, we ain't never hunted really have a box stand, so it's kind of like a, you ever heard of the expression of rat on acid? It's like, you know, you, can't, you gotta look and see, and it's just, it's mind blowing. As you can see, folks, we've had about all the box blind we can stand. A little monotonous, a little tight. Not seen much action, so I'm, uh, God's coming to get us here in a little bit, so we're gonna take off on a little walk. Who knows, we might see a big Wally Bopper walking around out here some more, so curiosity, you ever heard the curiosity kill the cat? Well, curiosity got to us. We're gonna go over here and see what's on this other side. Come on. It was our last evening, right at dark. We look out there and we see this really big eight pointer come out. He comes out and he's about 600 yards. There's several deer over. Well, he comes down and it's getting darker by the minute and I'm thinking, we're not gonna get a shot at this deer. Well, all of a sudden we look out to the corner and here comes three more shooters out.
Well, this one big 10 pointer comes out and this eight pointer starts down towards him. Well, after, after I look at my deer, you can see why all these deer are busted up up here in this field. This eight pointer comes down and the 10 pointer just kind of gives him one of those looks. The eight pointer turns around and walks off. Well, the 10 pointer comes into the edge of the field and it's, it's getting darker by the minute. And I'm thinking, there's no way that we're gonna get this buck. He comes out and he starts angling down the field. And we're, we're estimating this buck at about 300 yards. And this muzzleloader we're shooting is just not your average run of the mill muzzleloader. We're shooting a 45 caliber bullet at 3,200 feet per second. Scott Boger had, knows what he's doing with these muzzleloaders. Well, he zeroed this muzzleloader in for me, and I shot it once to make sure that it was right on cue. And he told us, he said, out to 300 yards, boys, he said, hold right on it, and it's gonna do the job. That's a bow, boy. Yeah, me shoot him. Put the crosshairs right on top of his back. Just right on top of it. I've got a good rest. Well, I have never shot a deer at that range with a rifle. So I've got a really good rest. We're in a shooting house. Portion of 3B Outdoors brought to you by these fine companies. Whether it's shooting for fun shooting for victory or the one chance at the trophy of a lifetime. Trust Spot Hog, the world's toughest archery products. Higher low does the work, we'll have to shoot at him. Three quarters All right, I'm ready. Are you on him? This one is, but he's down. 
And he's going back to the school with this baby. Yes. You see the horn sticking up over the heel. Oh, fantastic. Give me some right here. And I told Dustin, I said, well, it's now or never. I'm going to put the crosshairs right dead center and pull the trigger. Well, I did, and that buck hits the ground like a sack of taters. So, you know, if you guys want a gun that'll reach out there and get them, especially a muzzle loader, give old Scott Boger a call. I tell you what, Dustin, let's get out of here. I mean, let me put in our load in. ground shrinkage here. Look at this. Look at this pig. Look at that. Hey, awesome deer. Hey, buddy, what do you think? <laughs> Thank job. you so much. Yeah, How you job. doing, man? Yeah. Thank you so much. Now, who's this little man? This is my youngest boy, Brandon. He wanted to come with me to help retrieve this deer. Good job, good yeah, job. That's, awesome. that's a pretty good one, isn't it? That's a great, especially late season. Big dog muzzle odor. Man, I don't think you could have done this with a regular muzzle loader. Drop them out here? Yes, drop right here. Right Long here. Shot. Long shot. <laughs> Man, I'd like to thank you again yeah, for letting yeah, us awesome. come up. Jerry Jackson, he couldn't be here. Uh, we're up here at uh, Illinois Ohio Valley Trophy Outfitters with Jerry Jackson and Mr. Brad here. They've hauled us around and Brad's looked on the map figuring out he's the Johnson County guru. So. Uh, He's told us where to hunt. We come in here this evening and uh, the weather has changed. The front has come in. And uh, man, we've seen three shooters in this field. And uh, if you guys want to come up here and do a whitetail hunt with uh, these guys, we'll flash it up in front of the screen. Give them a call. They're, they're number one, A number one outfitters. They got an awesome lodge and uh, they've taken some big bucks. Brad Buddy, thanks again for having us up. and. Uh, Stay tuned, guys, for more 3B Outdoors. <laughs> oh, what about that? Oh, oh, what about that? This portion of 3B Outdoors brought to you by these fine companies. Dedication to innovation. One bow. The most accurate technology. One cam. When the reward is within range. One moment. A name you can rely on. One choice. Matthews. It's opening day of spring turkey season. Me and Fess has done a little bit of homework. We've went in and we've roosted these gobblers and we know exactly where they are. Well, we finally make it to the blind. We get in the blind, and as daylight is cracking, these gobblers are hammering. I mean, just... We've been waiting a long time. We didn't expect the turkeys to be roosted right over top of us. You can hear them. But uh, we snuck in here. We jumped a few birds, but we got some gobblers on the limb over here, and they're gobbling. And me and Fez is stuck in here tight. We've got the new Creed bow with us today. We're going to try to take one with the bow. Right after daylight, I give them a few calls, a few tree yips, gobble, 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 gobble. It's first day of season. 
and it's, it's pretty cold. I think it's a few more days before they get fired up, but we're hanging in here, and I think what they've done is went around the side of the hill, and we've been doing some calling, and hopefully, hopefully we can call them back through this flat. What this is, we're just in a big old oak flat, and this is a place where they like to strut. These turkeys fly down, we can see them strutting out there, and, and we're both looking at each other saying, man, this is gonna happen. Because these turkeys was fired up, strutting, gobbling, and they was coming right at us. Well, we, they get kind of down to us, and the hens come into view. They're down under the hill, just yelping, going crazy. The gobblers take right off to them. We got about five gobblers in this bunch, so that shows you they've not broke up yet. So, <clears throat> we heard some hens, and we jumped a few hens off the roof, so we're just, we're just crossing our fingers and hoping, uh, hoping something happens. So the hens take these gobblers off, and we're sitting there, and I'm calling, Fess is filming, and all of a sudden, there's three gobblers just hammered right over the hill. Well, these gobblers come in, they strut, they gobble, they come in, they go over the hill, and I'm thinking, well, you know, something's not looking good for us. But uh, they go down over the hill, and I get them fired up. I do a little fighting, purring, and cutting, and they get fired up, and it's, it's on. They come across the hill strutting, and on opening day of spring gobbler season, we take a really nice bird. We made a few calls and <laughs> <Give me something. laughs> we made a few calls and and uh, these birds come down. The world piece is first bird opening day. And uh, give me just a minute. <laughs> we made a few calls again and they come off this big ridge. And they stayed just out of range. As you'll see, they weren't gobbling. They didn't do anything. They got by, they got by us. And uh, they started gobbling, so they was looking for that hen. And uh, so we had a hen on the back side. So I had another hen in my, my bag. I put it together right quick and just barely stuck it out the door. Made just one call, man, and here he come. So. The rest is history. The, the, the new creed is on the board with the rage, the Mr. Spot Hog, the first string, bow string, the down and dirty, tough man from Eddie Salter. He give it to me personally. Thanks, Eddie. And I've got my good buddy Fess with me. And uh, I think we just pulled an opener. I'm hoping. The shot look good. So, he strummed and <laughs> strutted all over this place. So, give me some more fast Thanks, buddy. <laughs> well, let's go get my bird. There he is, old buddy. Right there he is. Let's go get him. Whew. You know, we 
come in here early this morning. We've been watching these turkeys for a few days. They love to strut on this big flat right here. So we got in here early, but we got right under them. They's roosted right in these trees right here, and we thought we was too tight, but uh, you know, they didn't come right off the roost to us. We kept working them. They went around the hill, and they finally, they finally come in and give us a shot. Man, did they put on a show. I'm telling you what, I don't know if I've ever seen turkeys put on a show like that. But uh, I thank the good Lord for blessing us today. And you know, all the rest of the crew's out hunting. I've not got any text yet, but uh, you know, maybe we might be the first one. So who knows? Got the brand new Matthews Creed bow. Got my buddy Fess with me. It can't don't get no better than that. This portion of 3B Outdoors brought to you by these fine companies. Unlock the power of HDS with your fingertips. The power to find a needle in a haystack. You will outsmart the fish. Get there first with confidence and always stay one step ahead of Mother Nature. Find, navigate, dominate with the new HDS Gen 2 Touch from Lowrance. Looking for a memorable and unique getaway? Visit Kingsport, Tennessee, where breathtaking views and affordable family fun are just a short drive away. Tee it up in Kingsport. Come play one of our scenic courses nestled within the rolling hills of Northeast Tennessee. Enjoy the natural beauty of the wooded terrain and mountain views. We have great courses for golfers of all skill levels. Call to book a stay and play golf package at an incredible value. Great memories are waiting to happen in Kingsport, Tennessee. We'd love to see you here. Wow, what an action-packed show. It's Big Giant up there in Illinois. We'd like to thank Mr. Jerry Jackson from Illinois Ohio Valley Trophy Outfitters for inviting us up. If you guys want a chance at a world-class whitetail, give Mr. Jerry Jackson a call. He'll take care of you, I guarantee it. We'd also like to thank Mr. Scott Boger for providing the big dog muzzleloader. And what about that hunt in Tennessee? Opening day, big gobbler strutting, gobbling, me and Fess had to pull some tricks out of the bag to get him within bow range. Well, we're about out of time again this week, folks. By the way, stop by and give us a shout on our Facebook page or our website. We'd like to hear from you. Join us again next week where Nathan will have you somewhere on the water. I'm Freddie Neely, and thanks for watching 3B Outdoors. We wake up in the morning before the rising sun.